Hello everyone, welcome to this next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In today's episode, we will talk about how can you work with Git repository with your SAP UI5 project. Many a times as a developer, you have this question that Anubav, where can we store all our source code related to Fury and UI5 projects? And then how can I share this code with other developers? So in my Git video, I have shown how can you do these things end to end. However, this is a quick video which will show you also using an another development tool other than Web IDE to be able to sync your project and develop it completely out of Web IDE. As you all know, Web IDE is just one of the tool to develop UI5 Fury applications, but yet it is also okay that you use some other tools like Eclipse or Atom, which we will be looking into in this session to develop your applications. So let's get started. What is our use case? I have already created a very small application here on Web IDE called Git Tutorial. Let me execute this application. When I run this, you can see it runs an anubotrainings.com page with one of my UI5 demo video on this. You can download the complete source code of this from the Git repository itself. I will leave the URL of the Git repo into the description of current video. So in step number one, we have to now create or take this project and share with other developers. What do we do to achieve that? The very first thing you got to go to GitHub Dot com and now here you can create a free repository in the github.com so I've already signed up with the github very simple step just like any other social media account you sign up you can also sign up on github you come here and now click on new and now it will ask you to give a new repository URL which you can provide the new repository name and this is my git username so I'll just give let's say um, SAP UI 5 git tutorial okay so if i git for example and i will say git tutorial with sap ui5 and just say public and i would just also initialize the readme file and say create repository so this is how you start with creating a repository basically you're creating a folder in a remote computer which is uh, which is on the internet to store all your project files out there. So now you can see system has created this repository and initial repository has been created for your consumption. Now from the web IDE, how will this project reach us here? Or however, all the code will update here in this, in this particular repository. So what you need to do is remember the name of this repository is quite important here, the link. You click on the clone or download, you see the link, but we will use this link later. I will go back first to Web IDE, right click and now first of all I will initialize a local repository. So let me choose initialize local repository. And on the right hand side in the Git you see this Git pane which indicates that uh, uh, the, the Git related activities in the Web IDE. And now you can see the moment I initialize a local repository system has created a uh, local repository with a branch called master. So what is a branch? A branch is nothing but collection of changes which you are performing. Is like a, a branch you can consider uh, with respect to a map as collection of transports. Yeah. So this is one, one branch and this branch may have multiple commits. Every time you make a change and want to, want to publish that change with other developers, you make a commit. Yeah. So now I have, I've got a local repository and a, and a branch out here and I will just say stage all because I want to now make all my changes uh, uh, ship to the remote repository. So I just select all of them and I give a description and I'll say uh, launch of product, launch of new solution. And now I will just say commit. Now what is this commit is doing? This commit is actually committing my change in a local machine. All right, that's what it's doing. And the moment I do my first commit, it's now asking my Git email address and Git username. So let me just, Go ahead and provide my git username and git email address so i just say about abap at gmail.com and that's my git name i click on okay that's fine and now you can see a commit has been has been completed successfully so all my files have been saved to a local repository still the changes remaining in your local system 
and if everything is successful you would also see this beautiful green icon next to the files so this indicates that your changes have been saved locally in a local git repository you can go to this hourglass uh, icon and you can also see your changes uh, which has which has just been created you can see the name of the user who published this change all these details they are all local versions so this is version management locally within your computer but still if you go back and refresh here okay to your repository you would observe that the data is still not available the the files or the the project which you created is still not here of course there's nothing like magic you got to now choose this button and clone this um, or basically take this url just click this button will copy this just click on this it will copy to the clipboard now you go back here and what next we need to do is we need to now push this change to the remote repository remote repository nothing but the repository which is on the internet this is your remote repository so now i'll right click on the project once again and i will say git set remote and now here you can see you just give the url and i say add configuration to get it that's okay and say okay it's now asking me again the credentials the username and password for my github account because i have used here the the public github github.com is a public github your company may also take a subscription from git as a corporate account in that case your repository will be private but since i'm using github.com my repository is public anybody can can view my code anybody can check my code but if you want to keep things private within your company you would probably have to go for the pricing plan with the github now i'll just right now go ahead with the free one so just give my username and i will also give my github password so let me provide my github password here and then we will just say uh, okay so i'll give that and i'll say please remember me and i will hit the okay button okay and all all good now it's trying to connect to the remote repository and now you can see immediately that since my password also got successful it's showing there is one change in the remote repository which actually we did initially by creating this readme file which is not yet downloaded to your local machine and there are two changes which you did in the local machine which are not yet in sync with the with this remote repository on the internet that's what it indicates so one down arrow and two up arrow so you cannot actually merge your changes because they both are out of sync because there's a change which has been done in remote repository by creating this file now the very first step which you need to do is in to pull the latest changes from the remote repository so they the local version is in sync with the remote repository so for that you will click on the pull button watch out here it will create the readme file now right away i just click on pull so now it's fetching the changes from the remote computer and voila you see it has added your readme file so this is basically for the purpose of writing some information that who's the owner of this repository what is the purpose of the file this is um, a demo by anubavtrainings.com blah blah whatever you would like to write you can just do that and as you can can save every time you save any any file you see a star icon here which indicates that there's a change in one of the file and it also now qualifies for or or, or actually uh, you need to now uh, commit this file also so i can just choose and say some change commit this change so now i have in total four changes which i had made in my local machine two changes earlier then one change was due to fetching the information from the remote repository and one i just changed this file so there are total four changes which are yet to publish good now we can just simply do a push here you see this push button remote branch and in remote repository we have origin master or by default created say okay and that's it so now system is uh, trying to do a push and you see it says not authorized the reason for that not authorized could be uh, because my password which i've entered was not correct all right so may have to correct the password so let me just do that and also the another reason call because of this push fail it could be that uh, my user who myself doesn't have an authorization to write to this repository so basically people can look at your code 
from the public github.com but they can't change your code in the remote repository without your permission so to add now people to as a contributor to your project you have to go back to the to the git project and then go to the settings option collaborators and here you have to choose their git id so basically whatever user you want them to collaborate you can see all the people who are part of the git uh, ecosystem are visible here you just ask your friend and colleague to create an account on github.com and then that's it you can just put their git name and then add them as a collaborator all right so this is the way you can add them right now I myself cannot be a collaborator the, for me the reason of failure is simple it's because of the password not because of the uh, because of collaboration but this is another reason why majorly the push fails uh, somebody try to push on your repository and they don't have permission so the push also probably failed because of that reason so I will go back and now I will try to push again with the correct password let me do that so I'll just try enter again uh, a push and this time when I did a push again it's asking me the credentials because I did not pass last time the correct credentials so now I have to again pump in my credentials here correctly so I just say my github account name username and then it's password and I say please remember me and say okay now you would also now observe that if my username and password are correct my push will pass and you can see here push has been completed successfully which means now I can go back to the code section of my remote repository and wow there you go you can see my web app directory and all my 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 files are available here and you can see some change so all these changes you can also see it which was the user who has made this change so this is the way you can collaborate uh, with your team members and developers together and build a github repository for your for your projects and then you can share it with others now let's go into the shoe of an another developer who is working in your team and this developer has no clue about web id this developer is using some other development tool let's say eclipse or maybe atom so he's a node.js developer and this developer needs to access this ui5 application and needs to run this ui5 application in his development environment it's pretty simple to do that do that and for for this use case i will show you here uh, singing this project with an atom so atom is a very popular development tool many times many people come and ask me anubo is, is, is the web ID the only option for developing UI5 apps? No, you can develop it via any tool, any uh, client-side development or web-based web, web -based development tool. It's okay. But of course, you will choose web ID because web ID gives you specific UI5 options and code completion. That's the main benefit why we use web ID. But still, it's okay if you are comfortable with some other tools, you can use them. So I will be using here Atom. To check in the project now imagine I'm another developer sitting somewhere in a different country and now I say uh, one of the developer in the team has created a git repo and pushed the code in the git so I as another developer can now pull this information so the very first tool which which other, which you need as a developer is uh, git so just say git install search that on the Google and you will find this tool called um, git hyphen scm.com just download the git scm from here and then install this according to your operating system you are using so just install complete this download and complete installation and then you're ready to start using uh, or, or check out this project and then second thing of course you need to tell your code developer to uh, to the url of your repo so just click on this and they give this url to them that's all these two things are required for him or her to get it started and now I'll show you interesting stuff using command prompt so since I've already installed the git uh, SCM tool in my local machine I can now use git commands in command prompt so I'll switch to command prompt and maybe what I'll do is I'll just go to my C drive and then here I will create a new directory mkdir command and I will say anubao uh, git and there's a new directory I just switching into this new directory now it's an empty directory I can also show you that directory here um, C drive Anubo git and this is an empty directory you see it's a completely empty directory so now in this directory I want to pull all the all the project files so it's very easy just say git clone 
and then you can just come here and copy the URL and just paste it in the command prompt. Press enter and voila you see it's cloning up so this is the way anybody ever share any project with you on the git you can quickly clone it up and what you see is in this directory now you've got a project that's really nice and I can just quickly copy this and go to my atom and then say file add a project folder and just give exactly the same directory out there and say select folder and that's it the 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 UI5 project is now added to another development tool here we are using the atom IO and for example this developer now goes and probably make a change to the uh, to the view or maybe to the controller and this developer goes to the here and then I will say just wanted to throw a message so let's add message toast and then we want to just show that message on start of the app okay so I can say set timeout function and then I say after three seconds I want to show this message to the user and I will say show and I say welcome to git tutorial or welcome to anubo trainings.com that's what I do and now I'm just going to save this so that's my change as another developer I did that of course this change is in my local machine at this point of time I can also go ahead and test it I can right click and I can say um, copy full path and simply go to the browser and give a quick test here for this application of course I can I have many ways to test it I can do that testing and then when I'm happy I can push this change to the git repo back again so here I will use atom and I can say go to github and then you can see this git section and this is the change which I made same steps applies to another development tool you've got a change and that change gets tracked and then you got to stage the change and then you got to give a commit message uh, let's say change by developer 2 and say commit to the master you can see the commit and then I can simply say push so on push button again it will repeat the same process we'll use my internal username password which I've entered already to the system and this is now pushing back to the repository so developers tools change who's sitting somewhere remotely in uh, in some other country probably wherever uh, will push the change and now you can go back to the remote repository and just quickly do a refresh here on the page you would now observe that yeah you see change by developer 2 is available so as developer 1 again coming back here I am developer 1 on web IDE I can just fetch this change so I can always go back to the git option and just do a pull so the change which was done by developer 2 will be fetched back in web IDE so I can now go back here go to controller and you just saw that change which was made by developer 2 is available for me so this is the way you synchronize your changes as a team you work together using github so what we saw in this tutorial end-to-end -end setting up the git repo let's of course test it you can just go back and and test it and we should see our post message coming out after three seconds yeah there you go welcome to anuboutrainings.com that was a change made by another developer and here you go my youtube video for ui5 demo is also also plugged in so i will give the url of this git repo to all of you in the description of the video so you can just simply go ahead and do the same stuff you can just take the url of course you can browse my code absolutely free um, will be available for you any tool you use doesn't matter you will be able to download this code if you think this video was helpful please do share it with your friends and colleagues this is the way you can set up a new project and work in a collaborative mode with the git uh, and you can also go ahead with a free account on github.com uh, please check the description of the video for the complete material about the github uh, and also the information about how do you do these steps along with my repo url Thank you so much with that. Uh, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon for this channel and I will see you in the next video.